All right, this thing here at the back here is the world record breaking fastest RTX 49 in the world. Yes, it set the world records and it's just weird. Believe me, trust me, when you see this thing, it is weird. And just have a look how big that box is. Look, this is a huge card. It's a humongous, this thing here. Like seriously, it's a big card. I like actually how they've made the box small. And this thing here, look how big it is that box so I don't know if it's any bigger but let's see I'll show you why it's weird but first if it's my money I'm gonna go with the top G right a tough game in the Strix right the Strix is hard to get you can't get the 4090 Strix anywhere that's the one I really want but this thing here this Galax brand never heard of them but I looked them up and I looked up their parent company and guess what no jokes, this company here makes the most graphics cards in the world. Actually beat Asus for the most graphics cards shipped. Now they may make a lot of shitters, so they may make a lot of low end ones, I don't know where their volume's coming, but they actually are the biggest manufacturers, they're Taiwanese as well, so they make the most graphics cards in the world. And this is their world record breaker the fastest one in the world it's actually clocked higher than the Strix now we're going to see it doesn't matter the fastest one in the world will it be like a normal tough like I doubt it I doubt it but it is actually clocked high around the box and as we know like really a 4090 is a 4090 but let's see why this thing is weird now they got that Viva Vendetta sort of guy on there from Anonymous it looks like and yeah the boxing's pretty good it's got a little sparkly little sparkle in that sort of box there and look it's friggin huge the ultimate game changer they reckon I will be the judge of that well, how much did they get paid to put that on there GE Force uh, yeah oh there you go look at the weirdness look at that extra fan I'll show you what that does in a sec but I've got to say, it's packaged quite well there. This is the bracket that holds it in, that's RGB. This weird ass thing over here, I'll show you what that does in a sec. And then you have the graphics card. So it's well presented, it's a huge box. So you're gonna pack it nicely like this, you can't complain. Some literature there. Oh my God, this is friggin' enormous, my God. What? Friggin' hell, look at that. That's gotta be a full slaughter. This is getting ridiculous now, all right? I mean, the tough was big enough, but this is just out of, look, out of control, like seriously. It doesn't look as well built as the tough, I can tell you now. <laughs> I suppose it does look pretty good. You got the fire breathing connector there, and there's the front of it. Oh, that's freaking huge. Man, that's gonna be, oh, looks like it's a three slotter, but that looks bigger than, no, that's wider. That's like three and a half slots. That is just insane. I don't know, graphics cards look like graphics cards. I've got to say, I really do like the Strix version this year, the way that looks, but uh, this looks you know, good enough. We'll see, it looks like there's some lights there maybe. One thing that sucks on this graphics card is you've only got one HDMI. And of course with the 40 series, you only get DisplayPort 1.4, which sucks, NVIDIA, should be 2.1, um, but you get three. 1.4s and you only get one you know hdmi 2.1 which sucks it should have two this one here you could pick it up for about 2900 australian so very cheap not cheap but you know for a 4090 it was cheap and this really competes actually it's not supposed to compete with the tough i'll show you the tough next to this in a sec it's actually supposed to compete with the Strix. It is their fastest, the one that overclocks the most. It's supposed to be the world record breaker. And I'll show you the weird ass thing in a sec. But let's get the tough out and have a look. So I guess here is a lesson in good design because even though the tough is actually really bigger, it doesn't feel as big as this Galax. The Galax is actually smaller. Like that is a very big surprise to me. Certainly the build quality is not the same. Definitely not the same. The Tough has a much better build quality. Metal there. This is mostly plastic, but at the end of the day, who cares? We want to see which one's faster. Now let's talk about the weirdo thing. This thing here has an RGB fan that you put on the back. I'm not even joking there. 
you put that in there you connect it here at the back here and you have an RGB fan not only that RGB <laughs> bracket like this is nuts and actually I've always sort of thought why don't they jazz up the back plate because unless you side mount these you can't see all the you know fancy RGB on the front of the fans so why not jazz up the back now this looks a little bit cheap the fan but it's going to look good in a normal setup where you can see the back plate and you can see some RGB here and you're going to see the bracket RGB. It's going to look good. And I've always wondered why don't manufacturers put stuff here? Maybe it gets too hot and it's too hard to do. But um, yeah, this is going to look, you know, interesting at least. It's weird. It's actually pulling air through here. So, you know, it should be you know cooler like that hopefully you'd hope otherwise what's the friggin point of it I mean, it's just so weird and we'll test this one click setup thing and actually see is the world record breaker the fastest rtx 4090 well let's find out all right so if we have a look at the unit itself in the actual pc well it looks unique what do you guys think having that fan on the top it's sort of i don't know it looks a little bit cheap but then it looks a little bit cool too because it's got rgb on the back where usually a back plate is just plain and there's nothing there it looks very unique it's a big boy the actual uh, anti-sag bracket well one thing that is really good about it is it's rgb so that's very interesting very unique i like that now as you can see here i'm playing warzone at 5.8 gigahertz on the cpu 13900k and we are at the stock settings of the gpu so this is stock okay and indeed it does do 2.8 gigahertz stock so it is well it claims to be the world record holder of the fastest gpu the fastest 4080 well certainly out of the box it clocks faster than the strix or the say tough well you know you could overclock those to get this but one interesting thing about it is the power limit only goes to 113 so let's just press 113 on the power limit see if it does anything and it's still 2.8 maybe increased a little bit now i did use their software their one click software it gave you like a 30 megahertz overclock really not worth it okay. but um as you can see here i'm playing ultra settings so if we have a look here at the settings uh, we're going to graphics we're playing hdr 3440 by 1440 hdr and we are on extreme settings so ultra wide yeah pushing what 165 frames per second and doing about 300 watts on the gpu there and yeah look how cool it is it's not even 60 degrees and this is ultra settings ultra settings now let's overclock it and see if we can get it a bit hotter because as you can see there, with the power limit up, it doesn't really go much faster. So let's overclock it Moving. and see how fast it is. Now I'll just put this overclock setting in. I can go faster, but we'll just leave that there. I don't want it to crash while I'm recording. And as you can see there, the wattage has gone up and the temperature should go up. But certainly the frequency, the top left hand corner is all the telemetry by the way. The frequency has gone up to 3,030 megahertz. Yeah, this can, this can actually do about 3,100. Although sometimes it would crash, not very often, but it's just too much where you might be in the game of your life and you don't want it to crash. I think this is very stable how it is now. And so the question is, even though this compares to the Strix in terms of where it sits in a you know in the tier of graphics card galax compare this to the strix sort of the price range it's a little, it is cheaper than the strix it's about hundred dollars maybe cheaper than the strix us now would i buy this over strix no even at a hundred dollars cheaper i'll probably go to strix would i buy the tough over this well at the same price i'll probably still buy the tough because the tough has better look at a reflection on this by the way nice graphics the tough has a better build quality it's a zeus it's going to have better resale uh, i just think it might be a little bit better card even though this is faster than both the strix and the tough in terms of speed straight out of the box there's no question there it clocks 2.8 out of the box and look you can see it 
like I cannot get the tough to do 3000 megahertz at all. Right, so it is very fast. The power limit is 115. Oh, sorry, 113. Rather than on the um, tough and the uh, strix, it's 133, isn't it? So, but makes no difference this is still faster in terms of out of the box at least That's anyway i think uh, overclocking it's going to be silicon dependent but um yeah so if it's cheaper though if it's cheaper than the tough if it's 50 100 dollars cheaper than the tough now i've got a decision right now i've got a decision and if you just want easy you don't want to have overclock and you just want the fastest uh 40 80 this is the way to go it's the fastest out of the box. It's supposed to be the world record holder. I can't prove that, but apparently it is. But certainly out of the box, it overclocks. I mean, it's it's clocks are higher than the Strix out of the box. So that's just where it sits there. Oh, someone's coming down. Someone's yeah, next to me. On yeah, me, daddy's, me, here. Me. daddy's here. Daddy's here. Come on, daddy's here. 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 Dadd